When you look around the globe and you just pick up the paper, you see that this is a very challenging world we live in. Um, and the intersections of some of these kinds of disasters um, and how do we make those connections in solving those problems. Oftentimes in society, it's those who are already disadvantaged the most who have their human rights violated. And it comes down to a fundamental matter of justice. And if we want to live in a world that we treat people with respect and dignity, that we, that we have a just system, then it has to be one that, that incorporates human rights. When John Roth and I co-founded the center back in the early 2000s, we certainly believed that it was important for the mission of CMC to train leaders in government and the professions. And we really believed it was essential that they learn from history and that they develop an ethical, kind of, uh, an ethical compass, if you will. We teamed up to, to form the idea that since CMC had research institutes, why couldn't we have one that would focus on something a little different, uh, namely on the Holocaust and genocide, and also on uh, human rights. It's one thing to read about and to study and even to discuss in a classroom uh, events related to the Holocaust, but to be present uh, at the places where these horrific events took place, uh, to witness the installations, um, you know, provides an incomparable dimension uh, to the understanding and to the education of the students. I think when we did the naming uh, ceremony, I, I repeated the phrase that those that don't remember history are, are likely to repeat it. And so I think the center's focus on the history of human rights violation and genocide and the Holocaust is critical. Um, but what that does with the center, what I love about the center, is that leads to activism on current issues of human rights. Clearly, uh, what's going on in Ukraine, you have a war in the Ukraine, and, and directly there's human rights violations always related to wars. While there are so many issues in the world and there's so many problems that we need to focus on, it's really hard to find those streams where you can actually actively be involved and make that difference. And I feel like connecting with alumni through CMC who've been through this process is a nice way of like, you know, getting that little handheld support where you're able to go in with a better idea on how you can, you know, affect this change. I'm most proud of the fact that the center started from humble origins, has grown into something that is such an important presence on the CMC campus and such an important part of the CMC education. We have a lot of students who want to be socially active, who care about human rights, and this is a center that can absorb those students, that can find ways to channel that energy. We have several avenues by which students can be involved. We have internships with many with leading uh, human rights organizations, both in the U.S. and internationally. Uh, we have significant research opportunities for students, and there's also task forces, which are really student-led uh, involvement on human rights issues that they can address. We must have funded hundreds, maybe more, uh, internships over the years, and it puts students face to face directly into contact with the issues that they've chosen to address. I, I think that McGrubian Center has a real outsized impact on the CMC campus. And maybe celebrating its 20 year anniversary, but it's relatively young. Our impact on campus as well as in the world and in the fields of human rights has really grown since 2011 and I'm really proud of of just how many students we're able to reach and interact with every year and what those students then bring back to the campus as well as to their professional lives. And I think what's really special is that people come to work at the McGrubian Center coming from different educational backgrounds. We have econ majors, international relations majors, science majors, and so the center's role is really instrumental in applying what we're learning in the real world and seeing the importance of education in helping others and fighting for human rights. The McGrublian Center gives us the resources that we need in order to make our ideas into something that's tangible and help make change in the longer run. They are students of history. They're interested in it and in a very intellectual way to understand uh, the history of human rights and human rights violations and genocide and the Holocaust. Human rights to me is just one of the lenses by which you can give students an understanding of how 
the tragic human rights have been at times in our own country and around the world, they have a leadership obligation to know what they are, to recognize them when they see it, to try to prevent them or try to remedy them. Not only as a CMC student, but as a person, we want to know how are our rights being protected in the future. As long as we have suffering, as long as we have massive human rights violations, the discrimination, the racism, the sexism, then we have a mandate, we have a mission, we have a reason to be here.